Now, the West Virginia Division of Natural Resources is launching their dive and rescue team. That happened right here in our area today, and our Abby Lester was there. After several years of preparation, the Division of Natural Resources have launched their dive and rescue team for the state of West Virginia. Today we've unveiled our dive team. This is a statewide effort that's been going on for some time. It's taken an immense amount of training and gathering of equipment and putting together policy and all the departmental stuff. So we just kind of unveiled it. These guys have been in the works for several months or, or years now, honestly. And we're just kind of getting ready to show it off to the state. Governor Jim Justice is excited to have this new resource available for the state. The governor says he believes that with these safety measures in place, more people will flock to the mountain state and continue to drive up tourism, which has played a big factor in allowing this launch to happen. We didn't have the money, you know. Now we do and everything because we're flourishing in every, every category. Tourism, you know, license sales as far as fishing and hunting. All the different things that are going on, we're flourishing in this state. And therefore, we have the money, and that's why we're, how we're able to do this. The environment, as well as what is being recovered, dictate what the diver will be equipped with and what steps need to be taken. Safety precautions between officers in the water and those who are assuring their safety from above, including things like having radios and hand signals to guarantee their safety at all times. But the officers today, obviously they were in dry suits and they were also wearing full communications masks. Uh, and those masks are wirelessly communicate, they communicate diver to diver and then diver to topside on the boat also. Whether they're off the bank or on the boat, there's a, an officer that's wearing a headset that they can communicate what's going on at the bottom. Training to become a certified diver is not an easy task, including everything from swim tests to learning how to navigate with your hands and sometimes eight inches of visibility. One diver talks about the eerie feeling of being underwater while barely being able to see. When you're searching for something, sometimes you can't see it. It's all about feel. Um, and you've got you've to get on top of it. So once you feel it, then you've got to... You've got to try to put eyes on it, which is very difficult. But our underwater lights do help a little bit. Um, just uh, it's it's very eerie feeling when you have to you have to rely on your your sense of feel versus see. With great honor, these divers carry the responsibility of being side by side with individuals in their time of need. Here for you in Hinton, I'm Abby Lester, WVVA News.